Excellent. All right, Archer 2.0 training. This is going to be really important, and um, uh, we're going to be getting we're going to get to this in a minute. But this is a new uh, search engine, booking engine that we have for you. And we really want you to start using this, especially if it gets into crunch time. And what I mean by that, and we've been looking about this, if you, if you followed what we were talking about this morning about the air and about how if, if Congress doesn't get, do something quickly, the airlines are going to like really you know, get rid of like 63,000 people by tomorrow. They're out of work. That means less inventory. That means, you know, the middle seats are out, you know, on these jetliners. So that means less inventory on these planes. And I'm telling you, you're gonna, this is gonna be a great tool for you. And we're gonna show you how to work that today. All right, let's go to the next slide. First, it's still out there. Again, you know, if you've got clients coming to you and it's kind of weird or something, but go through this. You know, this is your screening. Never travel if you are sick. Never travel if you've been around sick people. What well, looks like a safe location today may not be one when travel occurs. Make sure to check all hotels, locations, hotels, airports, everything. You know, I, we've been getting new agents calling us, you know, going, oh, you know, my clients went down there to the airport and they had two names on one ticket. I'm like, what? wait, if you have people that are going out the next day, check 24 hours before that everything's okay. It's, this job is not, here's your reservation, goodbye, Mr. Client, I'll call you later. No, you have to be on top of this. You've got to show them and talk to them about the weather because we're going into the fourth quarter. We know that Denver is going to be closed. We know that O'Hare is going to be closed. We know that Boston, Logan, Detroit, all those heavy snow places are going to be closed. you got to be on top of it. Why this agent didn't do that and check on this to fix the problem before these people went on their vacation, I don't know. But we're still working on that. So make sure, you know, and remind your clients that places that have lax guidelines does not mean that the COVID is not around. So, yeah, be informed. Clients tested for that. Okay. Know what's going on with each cruise line, destination, ports, islands, monitor weather. Hurricane season. Hurricane season. They're even talking about that there's a tropical storm now again in the Gulf of Mexico. So let's hope that it doesn't become another hurricane. Get the facts and be honest with the client. Reschedule rather than refund. Give the client a sense of security that you are there for them. Like I said, you know, I, I guess what we need to go back to is what do you do after you've sold the booking on the cruise line or after you after you booked the all-inclusive with the air and everything and they leave in three months? Okay, what do you do? It's not just, here you go, bye-bye. You give them the paperwork and see you. That's not what it is. That's not how you build a sense of trust, build security, and build value in your business is you check in with your clients. You said, hey, are you ready? Do you, do you need anything? I mean, you know, people don't know how to cruise, but packing clothing for cruises is different than packing clothing for an all-inclusive. It's different than packing for an FIT tour in Europe. And you're, you, know, you should give them those hints. And that's what I'm saying is be in contact with them and check the air 24 hours, 48 hours before they're gonna fly out that everything's okay, everything's good. And then, you know, when they're out there, you know, and they're on the cruise or they're down in the all-inclusive, just check in with a text or call them and say, hey, are you guys okay? Just checking in. So it's not that, that's what, that's what I mean by service and building value in your, in, your, in your business. All right, let's go to the next one. Be honest with clients. This is important and you guys are not doing this. Advise clients about what they could expect in refunds and go over the terms and conditions. Again, we're getting too many we're getting too many new agents going, oh, I just booked my room. Bye. See ya. And here's your, here, here's your email. You can go on your Carnival Cruise now without going through the terms and conditions. What is refundable? What happens if I cancel? What happens if, you, you know, do I lose my money? Can I reschedule? You know, you have to go through them with this. This should be done before you make the booking. It's like, okay, here's the quote. Let me go over the terms and conditions, Mr. Mr. Client and Mrs. Client, before you actually, you know, drop four thousand dollars. Okay. All right. Now, this is uh, so. Yeah, do that. Okay, I gotta go. Right. <laughs> yeah, but you have to introduce them. Okay. Right. Right. Um, Reggie, Edder. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna step out. I'm gonna step out, and then Edder and Reggie are gonna come in, and they're gonna do this. Okay. They're gonna go to Archer Go and they're gonna show you how to do this. Here's the itinerary for the Smith family. This is what they want. Family of four, two kids, 11 years old, eight years old. Destination, Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. 
Dates of travel will be March 15th through the 22nd, 2021. Request the following. They want air, all-inclusive resort, and car. And with that, here is Mr. Reggie Rivas, and he will show you how to work Archer Go. And then I'll be right back. Here you go. Yeah, we're going to go to the, um, you want to go to mine, uh, Amanda? Hold on, I'm here. Okay. Hello, everyone. How are you? Edder, have a seat over there. For those, we're trying to be social distance. You guys see Edder. Uh, hello, Evolution family. Hope all is well. Um, we are here to talk about Archer Go. Thank you, Jose. Um, the itinerary for the Smith family. Well, I want to be the Smith family. That looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> Um, okay, so before we go, as Amanda's going through for the Smith family, Amanda, go ahead and start with the Smith family. For those who don't know what Archer Go is, Archer Go, uh, we have partnered with Fair Grabber and create a booking engine for you exclusively for Evolution agents. Um, myself, Edder, and, um, oh, I gotta move. Amanda just told me I need to, where am I moving to, Amanda? I'm just trying to tell you, you're sitting sideways. Oh, I'm sitting sideways. I am. Okay. Um, uh, Edder, myself, and then um, some other ITs have been working extremely hard to get Archer Go and improve it every week. And I appreciate the feedback that I've been getting from everyone. We've been updating, making it cleaner. Um, so Archer Go is a booking engine for Evolution agents. Um, how do I get to Archer Go? How do I get to the Evolution Preferred Supplier page? Very simple. You're going to go to archertravel.com. And what Edder and I have created on the home page of archertravel.com is there's some small little buttons on the bottom there and you'll see our Evo flash sale as well as you'll see Evo suppliers. So as you go on our website right now, you look behind me, as you can see right there, ah, I'm off screen now, but there it is, Evo supplier. So you have the Evo flash sale and Evo supplier. You click on the Evo supplier, real simple. And there is, Amanda's already logged in, but you will have to log in and create a username and a password. Do it one time, Google will remember it, and you're, and you're in. Just save your password and everything. Right, Edder, am I good on that? Yeah. For those who don't know, this is Edder. Edder's the man. He is, he, he keeps us going here on the back end. You know, he doesn't get a lot of camera time, but he <laughs> keeps our websites, he keeps uh, all the technology with Amanda going every day. So a big round of applause to them. Um, so what is the Evolution su Supplier Program? Those are our preferred suppliers we want you to use. If you use outside suppliers, that's fine, but we don't have as much um, control or um, the old term pull to get customer service exactly what you need. These suppliers help us tremendously with customer service and there's issues. What Archer Go is, is directly with us. So when you book your air, hotel, or car, and you have an issue or question, you can actually contact us and we will help you with that. We have Susie here for you, um, agents in Mexico. We have Violet here, and as well as agents in Australia, we have Susie um, here to help you guys. So Archer goes right in the middle, and Amanda's gonna now book our trip, the Smith family. Amanda, you wanna go with the, the Smith family as you guys, whoa, their screen's flying fast. Um, so the Smith family is going to fly out of, is it LAX or flying out of Amanda? Uh, yeah. LAX to, was it Cabo, Cabo or Cancun? I, sorry, I don't have the itinerary memorized. Um, our good friend Jose did this whole thing without, uh, without me memorizing this. And it's not his fault. I should have paid it more attention on, I need to memorize what the Smith family was traveling. I was kind of hoping I was. I do have a question. Yes. Um, so when you, when you go into the archertravel.com and I want to go to the flash sale, is that now open, Edder? The flash sale is currently closed. Oh, tell us about that, please. So if you go on archertravel.com and you click on the flash sale button, it's, a, it's password protected because I'm currently building it for the next flash sale. But it, I know before agents were confused because it said enter a password and they thought they would need to utilize their password they logged in to register. However, this time I put it in bold letters that the flash sale is closed and that a new one will be coming soon. So we're about And when will that flash sale happen? It's gonna happen tomorrow at 12 p.m. I was actually just building it right now, and I think it's really good. So I'm excited. So uh, the, we're, Ron and I are doing a flash sale tomorrow at noon. Uh, it's something we've been working on. Edder, myself, Amanda, and Ron 
us four have been working on really hard the last two weeks. That's why we didn't have a flash sale last week. Um, you'll be excited to see what we're offering tomorrow. This has a lot to do with Amanda and Edder more than me. This has to do with Amanda and Edder. I can't tell you what it is. I don't want to spoil it, but it, it has to do with technology. So this is a good thing for the flash sale tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's flash sale with Ron and I with the support of Amanda and Edder on it. And that will be ready to go tomorrow at 12 o'clock Pacific time, California time. All right, so Amanda's now got the booking. She's got, um, she's booking the air. So she's got Los Angeles um, to, uh, where are we going? We got to Mexico, Mexico City, she has it. So you look at the flights, you can go basic economy or economy. Uh, let's choose, uh, choose book it on economy. Let's not do basic, let's do economy. So she goes through it, um, obviously she can, we're, gonna, we're not gonna actually make an official booking just because I don't wanna charge my credit card right now. Because knowing Jose, it would be Jose's name on there and Jose would be in um, Cabo tomorrow. But if we did do it, it go ahead Amanda, book it like you're, it's you. Okay, we'll do Jose, do Jose. Yay. Jose's gonna go with the Smith, well, Jose Smith. No, make him Smith, Jose Smith. Hey, wait a minute though, let's see this. So you're going LAX to Mexico City, Mexico City to Cabo? Well, that's one we picked real quick. We're just picking one. It doesn't one. matter oh, exactly. Okay, so, no. We're just picking one. We're just making it showing how easy it is just to use. Okay. Ho Jose's very young, Amanda. Make him young. 19, <laughs> make, make him 19, yeah, there you go, 93. Oh. Don't worry about the loyalty points right now. He's got, he's got archer points. Amanda's struggling here on the, uh, she's, she's hitting buttons. There you go, Amanda, that's the clear button. And then the payment. Okay, let's move on. So now everyone can see how you can process everything. If she hit proceed, it, it would be an error because she doesn't have the credit card info in there because I'm not giving her credit, my credit card info online. But it's very simple to do. The big thing is read the summary on the bottom. It talks about review your trip details, make sure the dates, times, and all the, Everything's there for the Smith family. Um, the date of travel, just make sure all that's there. That's why we put the summary. So booking your flight is just as easy when you use United or anything else. This is this is what Archer Go does. It's it's a great booking engine for you guys to use. Amanda, get out of there. Let's look at a hotel. Let's. Um, and I think Jose said he wanted an all inclusive. So you booked the air. Now you're booking the hotel. He, she's booking Cabo. There it is. I don't remember the dates that we selected, but and remember you're trying to you're booking everything for 2021 on this trip. So just keep in mind, it's a family of four, I believe. Uh, Jose was traveling with the Smith family, a family of four. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you a good surprise we're having with the Archer going air in a minute once we get done with the hotel. So now you want all inclusive, right? Yeah. Is that what he said? So we go through this as she looks through it. Um, there's a search engine right there, fitness, business center. I don't have it all memorized, all the all inclusives in Cabo, so I do apologize. Jose, do you have one that you really like in Cabo that's all inclusive? Sure, let's uh, pick, um, I, I don't know. pick dreams. Should be a dreams and go, go just scroll down, Amanda. You got to keep scrolling. Where are you going? She's just going crazy, Amanda. Click more hotels. You can get it by name, too, right? Uh, the name is only once it shows on the screen, so you got to scroll down. Oh, okay. so keep scrolling. There's so many hotels, which is awesome, yeah. especially for the weekend she picked. Grand Fiesta Americana, I like that. Okay. There we go. We grab one. We let Jose pick. So there we go. It gives all the information, what's going on, the location, the map, pictures of the resort so you guys can see what you're getting, which is a nice, that's a nice resort. Yeah. Obviously, Jose is doing very well because he knows about this resort. So this is, <laughs> this is a good thing. Um, so then you get to select your room type. And this is one thing we really liked about our booking engine. We wanna not just give you one option, we wanna give you all the options for the room types. 
When you go to other search engines, booking engines, they may only give you one or two options. This actually gives you as many as they possibly have in their inventory at that time for that date. So this is the one leg up we have on everyone is that we can give you more room types than the average um, booking engine. Okay, can I, maybe, Jose's gonna have a, Jose has a question. When you're qualifying the client going on an all-inclusive, usually you'll have several type of room categories, okay? One will be balcony, one will be jungle view or garden view, one will be uh, partial uh, beach view, another category will be beach, full beach view. So know this, you know, when you talk to your client, ask them, what type of room do you want? Are you okay with garden view, which is pretty much the, the parking lot? and you know the forest behind there or do you want an ocean view or partial ocean view this is really important that way you don't have to go back in and find out another rate great point jose thank you okay so let's say we selected this room pick a room pick uh, one of the rooms in there amanda we lost amanda there she is she's back so it's very simple it gives all the detail you're going to do your traveler's information so you're going to put the smith family um, in there and then after you get done with the Smith family you're going to scroll down more um, the one key the one key thing that we have here is if there was a resort fee it was state resort fee so um, I don't know what Amanda's doing she just keeps she's just having a good time she's just playing with everything um, then there's the payment there's the contact details and then obviously the summary and everything. If there was a resort fee on this, you would see resort fees you will pay there at the hotel. There's no resort fee for, for this room, which is fantastic. So um, good for your client. So now Amanda is going now, to the trip. You, what yeah. about the terms and conditions, like you know, for cancellations? Or yeah, so when you go in, uh, Amanda, scroll down, please. So there are some terms and conditions for you. When you proceed to the end, it should, have, should give you more terms and conditions. Um, and if you ever have any questions, you can go back to the page you were just at. There's still, there's terms and conditions there. I believe every page we have terms and conditions about something. Um, the big thing is the resort fees. So um, that's always the big, and then cancellations. I, scroll up, Amanda. Uh, is there a cancellation notice? Oh, when you check out, there'll be the cancellation notice. Um, if you had to cancel. But what's nice, it gives you the hotel address and the phone number. So if you need to contact them, maybe your client needs a special room or maybe you wanna have champagne delivered to the hotel, you have the phone number um, and the address so you can make sure you get um, special treatment for your clients. So, question. Yes. Um, are the prices comparable here, booking separate rather than a package deal? It just depends, it starts with the air. Um, you can do package deals, you can do it this way. So I've done it both ways and they're both Sometimes it's cheaper to do it air, hotel, and car, how we do it on Archer Go. Sometimes it's, it might be convenient and maybe cheaper if you use another supplier. It it's all depends on where they're going. But at the same time, what we want to show you here is an additional tool that you have to use in case you need something really quick. Right. Like really like last minute, like I need to get this booking out right now. Yeah. Boom. You're right there and it's right, you don't need to log in. Da, 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 da. I mean, you do have to log in, but it's like, it's right there. And and the nice thing about this with um, with Archer Go is is 10% on hotel and 10% on car. Um, Amanda, go go back. Uh, you can click out of there. Click, go, go to the, uh, there you go, Evo supplier page. Go to car now. And go ahead and book car now. Um, and once again, hotel and car is 10%. So when you use another supplier, I don't, you might get 10%, you might get 14, you might get six. It, it just, so just know what you're doing um, and know your breakdown. Archer Go, we made it very simple. You're getting 10% on hotel and car, not on air, but on hotel and car. While Amanda's doing the car part, the exciting news on air, we have almost completed the actual ticketing fee booking for you guys and it's going to be a $20 booking ticketing fee. $10 will go to you and $10 is going to Archer because we have to help with the booking still. Will that be per ticket? Per ticket. So if if you want to, if you have four tickets you're going to do, you can do it $20 per ticket. Um, it'll have an option, you can do zero, but when you do it, the max you can do is $20 per ticket right now. So we're, we're in the beta testing of it, but when you go in here to book your flights, eventually not yet we'll make that announcement when it's live but i want to give you guys a sneak peek 
we have developed a ticketing fee, a booking, a booking ticketing fee um, for you, the Evo agent, which I think is great because right now you're a lot of you are not making any money off of air, and but you're doing all this work for them. You're you're doing you're dealing with so much with air. It's a lot of work, and you're making zero dollars. So um, I felt, as well as uh, Ron Archer, that we want to help you increase your income because you are doing such a great job with your clients. So we added a twenty dollar ticketing fee that's going to be in for flights. $10 will go to Archer Travel because we still have to make sure we get the credit card information from you. We still have to check on everything for you and issue you the ticket. Um, we, we will, Archer Travel will be issuing you the ticket. So that's our $10 fee. But you get to collect $10 on booking air. So if you book for the Smith family for four, that's $40 for you doing your job right there, plus your commissions you're going to make by using Archer Go. You, the ticketing fee is only if you use Archer Go. Um, it, you don't get a ticketing fee on all the any of the other suppliers, um, but for Archer Go, it is a twenty dollars ticketing fee that you can't go higher than twenty, but you can go um, you can select zero if you like. Um, it's either zero or twenty right now. That's what our IT department's been working on to start. So it's going to be really a lot of fun, but it's also we felt that you guys have worked extremely hard on air, and, and we think it's important that. You guys make a little bit of sum on air. Jose, you want to talk about that for a second? Anything? No, that, that's great. And, but again, you guys, and, and I talked about air this morning and, and about how tomorrow, I guess, we'll, we'll learn if American Airlines will be laying off all those people. Yeah, we don't know because yet. Because the inventory is gone. But like I said, here's a quick place where you've got that last minute holiday air that you need to book. And hopefully by then we'll have this aspect, we'll have this, this you know, ticketing fee so you'll actually be able to make these commissions. You know, you'll make something off the air. So this is quick stuff. But again, you guys, start booking this stuff now because it's going to be gone. So once again, the flight, when you book, the ticketing fee is not in the Archer Go system today. Um, we're doing beta testing all week and next week. And hopefully by the end of next week, we'll be up and running with that ticketing fee. That's so be, a, be perfect for holiday. Be, that's why we're trying to do this as fast as we can for you to be perfect for holiday season. Amanda, did you do car? You did car? as I was chit-chatting? Yeah. Okay, Amanda did car, so you got flight, hotel, car. We are working on trying to get cruises in this booking engine. We are working right now with our four suppliers you see there to have cruises, and hopefully by 2021, we will have packaging included in the Archer Go. So, um, oh, that's is, gonna be great. Yeah, that's so is there be any great. questions right now regarding Archer Go? I know it's a new system. I know there's some glitches you might feel. Please send me an email. It's R-E-G-G-I-E -G -G -E at archertravel.com. Um, and give me some good insight. A lot of you have emailed me about, hey, let's add this, let's do that. And we've been saying that to our IT department because some of these ideas you have are brilliant and we've included it. So we're gonna always keep enhancing Archer Go to make it better um, for you. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, Amanda, is there any questions or are we good? And um, Jose can move on to the next one. I have some questions, but um, they can email you as well. We'll yep. just answer one of them. Do we need to register with the suppliers on Archer Go? No, you do not need no. to register with all the suppliers. Just register with the suppliers that are your specific niche and you think that your clients, um, you would like to market to your clients. So you don't have to okay. register with everyone. Perfect, Amanda. Well said. Well, um, well, wait, register wait, wait, with wait. these. Wait a minute, though. Yeah. If you're working in Carnival, though, like if you click on the Carnival box right now, right? Mm -hmm. That will take you to GoCCL. That will you take you have to log in. There you go. So you do have to register with the cruise lines and like with Vax. So make sure that you have all these. But they don't have to register with all the suppliers if they don't want to sell. That's right. That. That's, That's right. right. You don't have to register with all of them if you don't want to sell. Great point, both of you. Great point. Um, okay, well, thank you so much. Don't forget, tomorrow at 12 o'clock, Ron and I will be doing the flash sale. It's going to be good. It's going to be exciting. It's 12 o'clock Pacific time. Um, so for those of you on the East Coast, 3 o'clock, get up and ready to rock and roll in the afternoon. And uh, looking forward to hearing everyone and talking to everyone. And can't wait to show you our, uh, our fun flash sales tomorrow. Edder, do you have anything real quick? Uh, I just want to say that... Um, I know as we continue to do more projects and build more things, it can get very hectic. So sometimes I may miss like a small bug or something. So please do not hesitate to contact me and then let me know because I want to 
you know, built the best things I can to make your guys' life easier. That, that's right. So like, well done. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Jose, it's back to you. We're giving it back to Jose. Thank you. Remember, register for Archer Go at archertravel.com, and I'll see everyone tomorrow on the flash sale. Thank you. Thank you. That was great. That was really, really good. Anyway, I just want to think, wow, that was a lot, huh? All right, you guys, so that should, uh, there's Mr. Editor there. Um, you should be feeling that much more confident. Now, listen, if you are having issues, like um, somebody did call me about the calendar wasn't working in Archer Go. Whenever there's anything wrong with it, please don't hesitate to contact us right away. And I got uh, Editor on it right away and he fixed it, okay? So that's going to be a really, really great booking engine for you guys, and that's going to be a lot of fun to work with. So be on top of that. Okay, um, today... Uh, we talked about Cabo San Lucas, uh, about going on a trip to Cabo San Lucas. Oh, yeah, here's the contact art to travel. Forgot about that one. Um, and here's Edder's email address. It's highlighted in red. So if you need to contact him about, you know, you're having an issue with Art Go, you can email him right there. That's edder at archertravel.com. There's also my email address, and there are the phone numbers to contact us if you need any type of help, and you can call us for anything. Um, now I want to introduce this video, which is really cool. It's an Expedia Tap video of Los Cabos. Let's roll it. Los Cabos is situated just a two-hour flight from Los Angeles, at the southernmost tip of Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. The region is made up of two towns, Cabo San Lucas and San Jose del Cabo. A region of great natural mystery, Los Cabos lines the coast where the Sea of Cortez converges with the deep blue Pacific. It's a place where desert dust mingles with briny breezes to create a special kind of magic which lures travelers with year-round sunshine, cool waters, and captivating views. Start your journey in the east at San Jose del Cabo Slow down in this colorful colonial town and let the sizzling aromas of Cabo street food and the soothing rhythms of the Spanish language wash over you as you drift among flag-adorned laneways. Like a piñata, the town bursts with street art and galleries, and the creative flair of this community shines bright in every park, alley, and restaurant. Wander down to the sparkling sea to discover why so many travelers make the pilgrimage to Los Cabos. Head to Hotelera Beach, where shady cabanas and relaxing beach bars await. Explore Wirikuta Garden and admire some of the extraordinary desert plants that thrive in this sun-baked part of the world. From time to time, vibrant festivals keep this mystical garden alight as the sun sets, and celebrations often continue into the early hours. Buckle up for the 30-minute drive between the two towns. The stretch of coastline which connects Los Cabos has become known as the Tourist Corridor, famed for its beachfront resorts and secluded coves. Stop by Palmilla Beach along the way and let the colors of the rising sun refresh your soul. Whether you're lounging on the shore or paddling on the water, the moods of the early morning will lift your spirit. Follow the salty breezes further west to beaches like Chileno and Santa Maria. Whichever shoreline you choose along the tourist corridor, you'll be rewarded with cleansing waters, a soothing reprieve from the scorching desert sun. When you arrive in Cabo San Lucas, you'll quickly notice the difference between the two towns. 
while San Jose del Cabo is a peaceful haven, Cabo San Lucas is like a wild younger sister. A party destination rivaling Cancun, this town is a magnet for pleasure seekers during spring break. But Cabo San Lucas is more than just the party capital of Baja. It is also bursting with great food, exciting activities, and even more gorgeous coastlines. One of the most famous is Medano Beach. Less tranquil than the other beaches of Cabo, this stretch of sand is where all the action happens. Take to the waters on a jet ski, kayak, or stand-up paddleboard. Or just sip on a cocktail and bargain with enthusiastic vendors. As dusk sets in, beach parties light up the sands and spill out into the streets. The spirit of the night is alive in this town, with bars and clubs at every turn. All there is to do now is let the good times roll. When you find the strength to crawl out of bed in the morning, a hearty Cabo breakfast is all you'll need to freshen up. And an adrenaline rush can't hurt either. Kick up a cloud of dust as your ATV zips among the sand dunes at Migrino Beach, just a 30-minute drive north of town. If you're still feeling a little fragile, don't worry. There are options here for slow pokes too. Back in town, set sail to the southernmost point of Baja, a jagged headland known as Land's End. Pull on a face mask and explore a dreamy undersea realm at Lover's Beach. Wander through the rocky gorge to Divorce Beach, which is lashed by the tempestuous Pacific. And gaze up in wonder at a monument 30 million years in the making, El Arco, the symbol of Cabo. When nighttime draws near, book a table at a clifftop restaurant across the bay where you'll be dining on the best views in Baja. As the sun sets, watch the shades of twilight gently fade till only the golden lights of Cabo San Lucas illuminate the sea. From the geological artistry of the desert and the seas, to the carefree spirit in every cafe, bar, and restaurant. This vacation destination is worlds away from everyday life. A visit to Los Cabos is like a journey to the end of the earth, to a place where magic and fun truly begin. Okay, so that was Cabo San Luis. Isn't it? You know, I'm just showing you guys this. Remember what it used to be like? I mean, that is open, of course. Uh, that is, again, working at 30% capacity in the resorts. Um, so the inventory's tight, but you know, it's a really great booking, especially for the people on the West Coast, Las Vegas, um, you know, Northern California, Los Angeles, you know, Arizona, Texas. That's pretty easy air to get down there. So it's another opportunity to go and, you know, market that and get that to your clients. Okay, do we have any questions? Um, we have some questions about Archer Go, but I gave them Adder and Reggie's email, so they can go ahead and email okay. those questions. And you had another question about, um, um, is there going to be more training on Archer Go? What you guys should be doing, and, and this is something that, that you should be really, really doing, is, you know, when we give you something new like this, go in there and practice it. Go in there and play around with dates and, you know, do like, you know, Denver to France and see about the hotels and rents. That way you, you get an idea of what to look for. You know, you, then you're looking at hotel inventory in Paris, which is a good thing to know in your head. So when you can recommend something to your client that's going to Paris or M Madrid or Barcelona or Rome or Italy or the UK, you know, go in there and, and practice, practice with this stuff. Go in there and, you know, click those boxes, see where it takes you. All right. Yeah. You have another one? Um, yeah. Mahogany on YouTube is asking, will we get a notification for the flash sale? 
If you click the little bell on YouTube, it'll give you notifications when we're live, and you can go ahead and watch anytime we're live. So tomorrow it's 12 Pacific time for the Evo flash sale. Um, and so that's noon Pacific time. If you're in the East Coast, that's 3 p.m. Eastern time. So um, just go ahead and click that little bell on YouTube and you can get that. And then if you're already following and liking the Facebook page or the YouTube page, you should get that notification on your phone. Uh, make sure you turn your notifications on. So yeah. Okay, so that's that. Now, tomorrow's going to be a busy day. Again, at noon, well, let's start with the beginning of the day. Tomorrow, there'll be the morning briefing, which will be out by Lake Balboa. That'll be at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Then at noon, we have the evil flash sale. Then the at evil flash sale is only for Evolution agents. Nobody else. No clients. Nobody else. That's right. Evo agents. Special. Evo agents only. Evo agents it's only. only special to Evo agents. Right. Okay. Um, then at 3 o'clock, we have Gia's for Geography, and we're doing our fifth wonder of the world. We're in our series, The Seven Wonders of the World, we're doing the Taj Mahal, which is open. It is open. And um, we're going to be talking about that, and we're going to talk about Mumbai, and we're going to talk about Delhi, and we're going to do a little bit of generalization about India. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And then right after that, we're going to have room res training, how to work room res with a real complicated booking, all right? So that's basically what we have going for you guys for tomorrow. Is there anything else, Miss Amanda? Looks like that's it. All right, great. All right, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow in the morning. You all have a wonderful day. I do want to, you know, give a big shout out to Reggie Rivas and Edder for coming in today and showing you guys how to work uh, Archer Go. All right, I will see you tomorrow in the morning. Bye. It's time to treat yourself and head to one of the most exciting cities in the United States, Las Vegas. In this incredible city, the weather is always amazing and you can find entertainment any hour of the day or night. Eat in world-class restaurants with celebrity chefs, play in stunning casinos housed in some of the world's largest hotels, and see spectacular shows you can't find anywhere else. They say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but your Evolution agent has the inside scoop. With the airport located within 15 minutes of the world-famous Strip, Las Vegas is one of the most convenient U.S. destinations to visit. It's also a family-friendly city, offering experiences for all ages. If you want even more adventure, you can get outside the city for world-class hiking and rock climbing. Contact your Evolution agent and let them do the planning for you. They have the backing of Archer Travel Service, a 67-year-old travel company, so you can rest assured you're getting the most value for your money. Call today. They have access to timely specials that will end soon.